I finally got my hands on the Asus Stuff AX4200, one of the low to mid range Wi Fi 6 routers available from this manufacturer, and since it's a fairly budget friendly unit, I was curious how Asus built it. The teardown process is simple enough. We need to remove the four screws which are covered by the four silicone fit. And of course, Asus keeps on adding these scary warranty seals which have absolutely no meaning in the US, but do be careful in other countries since the laws may be different. I moved right through the seal and got all screws loosened. After which I had to use a prying tool to easily detach the top part of the wireless router. Now we can see the PCB and there is a lot of unused space which I assume will help with the heat management. We will see if that holds true in the full review and test video. The metallic heatsink at the top needs to go, so it's necessary to turn the board upside down. The PCB is not held by anything, but we still need to detach the antenna connectors to turn the board around. Thankfully, no antenna cable was soldered, as we saw with other Asus routers. On the rear side, not much is going on. We can see the storage chipset. And then I went ahead and removed all of the screws that hold the heatsink in place. I also decided to take a quick peek underneath the aluminum cover but as I anticipated, there is nothing of interest over there. I moved back to the upper side and took out the heatsink which then revealed several other aluminum covers. Take those out and the main components should become visible. I went through each of them at what I assumed was a good pace, but you can pause at any time to get a better view. That's about it for this teardown video, thank you for watching and see you next time!